Boom, boom, this is Kendra, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. All right, so we've got Illusion Connect up today. Illusion Connect just released yesterday on Global, so it is on the Play Store if you want to download it. So go ahead and download that and give it a try. I think you'll like it. Uh, the easiest comparison to make uh, uh, of this game is, is sort of like Ark Knights. The Ark Knights is what Illusion Connect um, should have been. Uh, Ark Knights uh, got a little bit old pretty quick. Um, wasn't gated and leveled properly. Um, too many things going on, too many characters going on, but it's a tower defense strategy game. This is the same thing, but it's much, much, much more um, tampered down. And instead of a, instead of you know uh, a tower defense, which is stopping one character, you have to prevent your character. So you're basically protecting your leader, who is my name is Jasper Riley. No, I did not choose that name. <laughs> Jasper Riley was the dice. I let the dice choose. Uh, and that was the first one that sounded manly. All the others sounded womenly. And since I, if my leader is a man, I decided to go ahead and make it sound like a man. And Jasper Riley was the first one I got. So that's what I am. Uh, this is what the game gave me. Okay. Um, okay, didn't re-rolls to get the best characters. Is, uh, and you'll see that shortly. So let's take a look at what we got. All right, so perks. Um, this is uh, the login for the daily thing. Um, Miyuki on day eight. Miyuki is the best. Is the best damage dealer in the game. She's ranked number one on most of the tier lists. I went ahead and glanced at a tier list to decide whether or not I wanted to link this account uh, after I got it, so just to, just to determine whether or not it, it was a good role. But Miyuki uh, is considered one of the best. Kasumi is one of the best damage dealers. Ana's the best healer. Uh, Karaya is one of the best uh, shields um, tanks in the game, and the Enforcer is one of uh, a good damage dealer. Any four of five of those are um, characters that you want to try to go for. Um, and get Miyuki on eight, so preferably you don't want to get Miyuki since you're going to get her free. But if you do get her, don't worry, you can just lens her up on day eight when you get the copy of her. So lensing is is lensing is the star up. Okay, functionality they call it lensing in here. We'll go over that briefly. So this is what you're going. I'm at day two. Flora, Flora here is a buffer. She's not bad. Uh, I'm going to try sticking her in just to do it. Okay, and as you can see, you do that. Seeds recruit, but this is as you level through uh, and through the event, um, you'll be able to collect ten set tickets, which is really good. I like that. Okay, so that's nice. It's as you do draws, you'll get these, and you'll be able to get a ten roll ticket. So it's sort of a not really pity, but a four 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 factor. Honest gift, uh, you get this as you go through as you clear through uh, some of the stages. Um, you, if you do purchase the SVIP card, you will get more of that. Uh, it's in the shop here, I believe. Uh, yes, SVIP. This is for fourteen ninety nine, and this is you get it buy it once now, it never expires. Okay, so it's not, but but don't buy it. Okay, play the game. Determine if it's something that you're going to want to continue to play then buy it okay you should be never buy anything at the beginning of the game unless you see something you really want and it's 99 cents then i don't got a problem you could go ahead and snatch up 99 cents i got no problem with that whatsoever don't be spending the money on uh, an svip 15 dollars on it unless it's something that you're going to continue to play because you're just going to be wasting your money um this game might not be for you and that's the reason i'm saying this this is this is a strategy game this is not this is not the mobile game that you can just set it on auto and go. It doesn't work like that. Okay? Doesn't, yeah, you can't do that on this game. You're going to have to play it. So, remember that. So, play the game. Just run through it. See what you like. All right. Um, I don't have Arena open yet. The Arena doesn't open up for me till 5.15. I'm only like at the end of 4, but I'll have another video on that. Trials. Trials are basically your daily daily resource grind. You can get a bunch of, uh, you can get a bunch of, um, sets in here you can do 20 once you've challenged it and beat it on S you can do 20 attempts uh, I already did my daily attempts I'm trying to get to level 15 so I can upgrade my dorm um, but uh, yeah, have, I'm gonna have to go through and do some more dream um, some more of this dream is the story mode uh, summon they got some good summons up now um, this is summon I draw on this banner and got I got Ash White she's a pretty good character this one here is the Miyuki Karaya. You definitely want to pull on this one. Unfortunately, I was—I really don't like when they stick a character that you're going to get on day eight in one of the pools. Um, make it a different character. 
Okay, but since she is one of the highest damage dealers in the game, that's what you get. Uh, Karaya is, is the one I've been trying to get. I did draw on this. I did not get her. I ended up getting uh, off banner. Uh, I ended up getting on that one. I ended up, like I said, I got to swear in the first one on that one. I ended up getting uh, Nicola. At first, I thought it was Karaya, and I was happy, but then I realized it was Nicola. So, because they look similar to the same uh, with the red outfit in there. But anyway, so that's about uh, guilds don't open up for me yet until 5 9. Wings of Growth. Wings of Growth. Now, you will get three characters when you start out the game. You will get Saya, then you will get Nina, then you will get Victoria. Level them up, max them out. They're going to be the best things that you can get early in the game. Plus, they have the ability to go from R to SSR. Uh, they're going to they'll give you the mats. I mean, this event right here will do it for you for Saya, uh, but you can do the other two the same. Just focus on they'll give they're going to give you the shards and stuff that you need to go through the game to actually do that. As I'm completing quests, I'm getting shards for Saya or Nina or Victoria and Nina. I'm sorry, uh, so I'm seeing that they're sort of leaning you towards that to bring up those three characters. They're not bad characters. They're actually pretty good characters. Uh, they are are but. Like I say, you can level them up to full SSR capability. I'm sure they'll be pretty powerful once you do that. Lineup is a basic functionality for setting up your line. As you can see, you'll be able to have a numerous characters, uh, but you get time level, you know, so you'll be able to eat characters, okay? So, you know, and you can have multiple lineups, and you pull your characters from here. Um, like I say, you want to max out Victoria, Nina, and Saya. They're, they're the three characters. Victoria is a tank. She has a 40% HP shield, but if you put Nina and Saya in your lineup, that increases 15% to 55. Makes her a pretty darn good tank. Um, and then I've got the three SSRs that I got. Um, uh, they're all pretty good. She's uh, she's she summons a full uh, sc scale ghost. Every every blank when you bring her out, every blank slot gets filled with a ghost. Um, has its advantages and has its disadvantages. Disadvantages the fact that now since all of your all of your slots are taken, you can't do anything specific until. So you have to, you know, so it gets a little bit complicated. Um, she, uh, she's pretty good actually. Nicole is. She does pretty good bit of damage. Okay, and then uh, Phoebe. Phoebe. Um, Phoebe just is. She's pretty good too. You drop her in. She does uh, an attack um, and a damage reduction, a damage buff down. So she's pretty good as well. So this is the team I've got, and it's got me through to four without much problems. Um, I'm starting to need a healer. So um, Flora is sort of a supporter, but I was really looking at, I was probably going to do Polly. And Polly, um, her buff is she uh, allies leader. Okay. Effective Polly heals on ally leader increases by 110%. So, and your leader is the, what you don't want to die. If your leader dies, which is here's my leader, Jasper, game's over. You can have a full screen of, of you can have a full screen of characters. All your slots full, but if your if your leader goes, game's over. That's it, and the game. Okay, so you need to make sure your leader survives. And if you want to get to three stars, you need to have him survive with either thirty or fifty percent of his health remaining. I've been having. I've only got. I've already made the end of the last mode of story four, and uh, I have not. Uh, I've only had one. One. I think it was two before the end where I have so I got two stars. Everything else has been three stars, so I didn't have any trouble getting three stars. There's not any funky, stupid, ridiculous um, requirements that you needed to get three star. Okay, so once you get past, you don't need to go back and run a level two, twenty times to try to get some stupid, ridiculous requirement that's not even remotely something that a sane person would do. So they've kept it normal and stable, basic, very easy, which is good. And you get the three stars, you can get the you know the, the rewards and stuff that you get. So that's good. Okay, uh, as I showed you, the summon on the banner, um, good banners. Uh, definitely want to try to get Kiraya. Like I say, you're going to get Miyuki. Um, these two are pretty good, so don't rate them. Radiant summon, just a generic summon. Um, okay, so that's your base summon. Um, the banners, I assume, will change. Um, partner screen right here is just what it is. This is basically how you level up your characters. You can like open up, you know, uh, Ashwai. Ashwai is the bad guy. Okay, she works for, you know, she works for the bad guy, the head guy we haven't seen yet, but she works for him, uh, and she she does a good job. I'll, I'll show you some skills for later when we do her. Um, but lensing is how you upgrade. This is how you star up your character. You got to get shards, of course, and then some gold, just like everything. Um, and then you have a chest, and when you do the lens chest, you'll be allowed to choose 
some shards for another character that you had. So that's a good little thing. I like that. Okay. So that's going to be allow you to get stars for other things. Anytime that uh, a game gives you uh, other uh, a dynamic functionality to acquire stars, or I'm sorry, to acquire shards for other characters is a big plus. That's one of the things I liked about Shining Beyond was the fact that you could get shards for other characters other ways. So it allowed you to uh, advance your team. Okay, so that's what Partners does. Level Up is done with basics, a basic setup. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Polly since I'm thinking about bringing Polly in. So basically, I'm just going to go into Polly. Uh, lens her, you, you level her up is just, you get the a lot of these. As you can see, I have a bunch. Um, and then you just level up 15 is where it stops at for the first time. Uh, and then you level her up. Okay. And then Link, you have to have, this is, when you run your dailies, you'll get this materials right here. Um, you can also get, yeah, you see in the raids and stuff. You'll be able to get them right here and they show you exactly where it's at and you can do raid five and, and raid it five times and you can get the rewards uh, and then once you've got that you can you can lens her up uh, with that link okay so now she's linked and that increases linking is like limit breaking so I now can get her up to level 30 so as you see what we're doing here it's the same thing as in other games it's just named differently now, lensing, as I said, is a star increase. This will take her up to two stars when I do a lens upgrade. She's now two stars, okay? So, linking is limit breaking. Lens upgrading is starring, okay? And then this, I can get some stars for another character that I have. So, I was focusing, I'm going to be focusing on her So because she's a good buffer. So, now I've got floor shards, okay? So, that's what it is. So, it has a pretty good, it has a pretty good setup, okay? That's what I'm really liking about the game. Different functionality. It's got the same functionality, but it's named differently, and I assume they wanted to do that to, you know, make things different, which is good. I got no problem with that whatsoever, okay? So, Wings of Growth is, this is like that, so I completed that by doing a link. So, now I've got a claim, and, oh, they gave me a badge chest. So, as you can see, you know, so basically on day seven, if you've done all this stuff, your Saya will be an SSR. They're going to give you the shards needed to upgrade her as you progress through, Okay? So that's good. All right, so uh, function out. Okay, so that's good. Summon, uh, questing is basically just questing. Okay, unfortunately, they're a little bit, they miss a lot of this a little bit because I can't complete any of these because I don't have enough level yet. I'd prefer that they not stick anything in the daily uh, uh, request that is not something that's not easily, that you get early in the game so that you can do it. So, but. You know, it's not too bad. I just won't get my dailies for today, but I got the ones I oh, I might. I'm going to play it some more. Um, I'll be able to get to 15, and I, I should be able to pop through uh, on four after that. I got I lost on four, so I haven't done it again yet. The last the boss, she sort of tanked me down, which is why I went ahead and give Polly a try because I haven't really had focused on healing. They give you a healer at the end of Story Three. He's called Jasmine, but she's really not that good of a healer. She does heal a little bit and she buffs your attack, but I, I want a straight healer for my leader. Um, and I'll show you why that's effective here. Let's go into Dream. Uh, and I, I, I go into this. This is the one I have I've been unable to beat. It's this little boss here. As you can see, I've got three stars. This is the only only one that I haven't managed to get three stars. I haven't went back to try it yet. My boss got a little lower than 30%. He survived, but I had to get him above 30%, and he got a little bit below. I think it's like 20%. So things went bad real fast on that one. I'm not exactly sure what happened. I wasn't paying much attention. <laughs> So, so this is your leader, okay, and you've got your, you can edit your lineup directly from here if you want to change something. Um, you're going to have to start focusing on challenging and stuff. So what I wanted to think, what I was thinking about doing was uh, uh, putting in poly, but I'm not going to do that here since I can just show you how these others function. Okay, and then you can change what you want to change and do what you want to do. There is, there is, there is, you know, class advantages in this game and you're going to need to start following them. It'll make things a lot easier. Um, and that's what I'll be focusing on next is trying to get my class advantages down. I'll give you a little bit of a lineup in the next video. So this is my leader. He dies. It's over. So you basically want to tank. Protect him at first. Okay. Saya does damage. You don't want to put Saya in the center column if you have Nina. Because Nina does a... She takes a whole column right here where the boss is at. So that's where you want to put Nina. 
So apply Nina right there. Okay, so now Nina, they're going to attack. So I got if I kill her, it's over. Okay, that's why you want to get AOE damage because if you can get a character that can do AOE damage, you can you can you can take him down pretty quick. She does AOE damage. See, my tank went down. I need a stronger tank. She's not bad. She lasted pretty long, as you can see. But in the end, she just didn't have enough. And there, Sai and both of them went down. So see, this is see, and now that now my tank is see that see he's being attacked directly now. So I need to see. This is where my team is is as you can see this uh, it's not really scaled properly with three SSR characters I should not have this much trouble beating this but I didn't so I'm gonna have to figure out something um, I just got to play around with different and see which one works as you can see um, so I'm gonna focus on rating um, and get getting using all this stamina that I've got rating and level up my characters and I'll come back and try it again no big deal you know, I'm nice that it, it's nice me to think a little bit. Now, if I've been spending an hour on it, then I'm going to get a little bit agitated that they made it too difficult, uh, which is what they did with Arc Knights. Um, but as as you can see, um, uh, you know, inventory, you got all your stuff and badges and stuff. So it, it's pretty good. They're giving me enough mats to do what I want to do. So album is the album. This is just basically where you can get to do stories um, and you can get to give gifts to, to increase the affection. Okay. Uh, so that's all that is. It'd take a long time to do that. I could do a whole video just on the album. Okay, shop. As in all games, there's a shop. Okay. Uh, you get a regular supply each day. This is for free. You already got it for today. The daily pack and a weekly pack and a monthly pack. Um, and then they got a bunch of stuff, you know, exchange. Um, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, they got skins for the characters. Okay, uh, Rescapia, this is the basic of your dorm. Okay, you want to get in here, level this up, uh, build stuff. These are resource um, collectors. Uh, get, build them. Uh, this one gives you gold, crystals. Uh, this is crystals, not diamonds. Um, so, and then you want to put, once you get to a certain level, they'll tell you, they'll show you the rooms and just stick the best child in the best room to get the most advantage from it as you can see I've got a pretty good buff going okay so I'll go we'll go over the dorm once I've got everything unlocked and I've got it up a little bit higher in level we'll start talking about what's the best way to go um, as a rule create as many of the dessert these are called um, create as many of the dessert cards as you can create as many of the books as you can and create as many as the frame lights as you can simply because those are the things that give you buffs so that's a frame light okay and then you want to level up this frame light to maximum level this is using crystals it's not using your diamonds crystals okay crystals they give you in game fairly easy you won't have to worry about running out of crystals um, until you start getting you know higher 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 you might slow down a little bit but at the beginning you don't have to worry about it but see now I just built another frame light so um, See, I got books all over the place, um, setups uh, over in here. So you want to make, build as much of that stuff as you can um, to get as much as you want in terms of uh, everything. Where did my... Got to get up to 15. Once I get to 15, I can take it up to level 2. But yeah, build as much of these as you can, even in dessert chairs, because this gives you uh, crystal output. A double bed allows you to open up uh, a slots uh, and open up an expansion into your thing. So it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, it's got a nice little setup. So you got 17 uh, crystals there. So yeah, a bunch of everything. So <laughs> it's pretty nice in terms of what it can do. Yeah, case stores and books and stuff. Build as much as you can of it and play with it. It's fun. It's an idle. There is an idle function. Uh, and you, each morning when you log on, you click on this. It'll give you all the gold and stuff that you earned while you were offline. So I like the fact that they've incorporated an idle function into that. I believe uh, most of the games are going to start doing that, which will allow you to accrue some experience, gold, crystals, and whatnot while you're not playing. Okay, so that's good. Friends list. 
get as many as you can um, uh, because you get stamina and you can also uh, get stamina from them and send stamina to them as one of the daily requirements okay so that's everything so uh, as you can see I'm at day two uh, this is Miyuki at day eight so you'll get one of the best damage dealers at day eight so that, that will make a determination um, as to whether or not you want to get to but yeah so that's it just at a glance okay and I'll do some more videos on it as I progress through show you other functions uh, how the arena works um, and as we open up new trials and whatnot uh, and the, the formats and it's, it's, so some of the gilding just like I do all my Bleach Immortal Souls and my Azure Lane um, videos and we'll do the same thing okay so uh, again subscribe to subscribe to my channel all right once you've subscribed you'll see a bell if you click on that bell you'll be notified each time I drop a video so this is Kenrir coming at you from the corner with the first look on Illusion Connect so thanks a lot for watching